So we're here at the Linero Connect here in Vancouver, and uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Todd Chose. I'm from the Android kernel team at Google. And who are you? I'm Bero. I'm from the Android team at Linaro. So um, you've been working on Android for a while, right? Yeah, it's been about seven years. So how's it been? Ah, it's really good. A lot of things have improved since I got st uh, started. Mm, especially things are getting much more open. There's uh, no longer so many c uh, hidden components. and. Especially also on the kernel side, we are getting much closer to being able to run Android on the mainline kernel. Not 100% there yet, but both uh, his team and our team are trying to make sure it's going to happen. So did you do a lot of stuff in that direction? Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I, on the Android kernel team, we're trying to uh, get a lot better about working closer to mainline and, and a lot of the work that our team and and uh, the team at Lenaro have been doing have been enabling different kinds of, of uh, test boards and devices that can run mainline or close to it. Um, their, their team has been helping us in, in uh, getting a bunch of the Android specific things that used to be kept out of tree into the Linux tree. Um, all of this towards trying to run much more recent kernels uh, on, on Android devices. Uh, we still have, uh, one of the big areas that we'd really love to do is is phone form factors, and that's been especially hard because, in general, the the SOC vendors uh, have to do a lot of work. They had a lot of code to support the SOCs, and that's done in house. And in very few of those cases does that code go upstream, enabling running phone form factors with mainline kernels. Um, but we're hopeful that that this year with Lenaro's help, um, we may have at least one, maybe several. And last year there was a keynote about the project Treble. Uh, so how's it been going for that? Uh, it's been going very well. So uh, I'd say it's, it's been a big success, both in terms of modularizing uh, Android, a little less spaghetti code, which you know the point of that was to enable uh, faster upgrades. When we announced Pi this year, we had several partners who were right with us on stage with devices that were shipping on Pi, and that was largely thanks to Treble. Um, and in the kernel area, it's also resulted in, in better processes and disciplines um, around uh, taking patches from the long-term stable, and, and uh, I think it's resulted in more solid kernels. And is the six-year support is a big deal? It is a big deal, because without that, since devices typically ship, when the kernels are already two years old, uh, a two-year support model just didn't work because uh, those critical security and, and bug fixes that normally would come down from LTS, they stop when it goes out of support. And so having a six-year support really enables us to have much better devices. So you've been uh, yourself, for example, a lot involved within an hour, connecting, talking yes. with them? Yes, yeah. so we've been very involved with uh, the teams doing testing of kernels, and that's part of why this LTS merging is working well because of the testing that Lenar is doing. We also have folks like Barrow working on AOSP and and making it more performant, and and uh, and we've got other teams within Lenaro helping us take patches and bring them upstream. So uh, Lenaro has been key to all of this. So for many years, I've been doing videos with you, and at one point. Uh, uh, there was some uh, kind of, it felt like the Linaro Android had the speed up because there was some acceleration kind of happening. Is this stuff that Google took in and kind of, uh, uh, you know, what do you mean? It is all open source. Uh, so I don't know the specific ones, but there have been plenty of cases where Linaro has helped us with performance. I think one area that stands out is the work that, that they help with in art and, uh, you know, the, the JIT compilers for um, Android apps. Um, there's plenty of other examples of performance uh, help that Lenaro has given. What What are you doing with the art, for example, and that kind of stuff? Yeah. So the, uh, the particular speed ups you are talking about is probably the, what we were demoing for five years back in, in Hong Kong, which was essentially the Android rebuild uh, with the newer tool chain. The, the tool chains in AOSP have always been a little bit behind, especially when uh, it was still using GCC. And uh, we used to make a big effort yeah, moving it to newer GCC releases. That has all gone upstream. 
and nowadays, uh, of course, Android has moved to using Clang as the primary compiler, and we are still trying to help out there. We have a system set up that runs nightly builds of the LLVM and Clang toolchain, and then builds AOSP with that, and notifies us if anything goes wrong, so we immediately upstream any changes needed to make newer versions of Clang work. And we also find a lot of bugs in the compilers that, uh, that can be fixed before release uh, by doing that as a big compiler test. So are you, are you involved with the LK, LKTS, or what's it called, the uh, Linaro you testing? Mean LKFT. LKFT, uh, sorry. Kernel, uh, yeah. yeah. You involved with that? Yes, yeah, somewhat. I'm, I'm mostly working on the user land side of things. Uh, my primary work is on the toolchain things uh, we just talked about, but uh, I'm somewhat involved, uh, definitely looking at the test results all the time and sometimes for helping figure out where a regression came from and just making sure that we don't send total crap patches upstream. <laughs> and the LKFT, so you, you've been using that? Absolutely. So LKFT has become critical to testing the kernels, both uh, at the LTS level, where you know the, the long-term stable releases when Greg KH puts them together, LKFT is being used to test that, and the RCs, and then when those merge down to common, LKFT is used there to verify it. It's been, it's been critical to verifying the kernels. And you, you mentioned Greg many times, Greg Carl Hockman, and, and the, he's an important guy that you have to work with? Yeah, so he's one of the key kernel maintainers, and he also works closely with us. So he actually does the merges from the LTS kernel to the common kernels. We meet with him regularly, um, work with him. And then Linaro has been, has been uh, working with him closely on LTS just to find the right patches to help uh, look through other projects and find where the bug fixes and potential security fixes are. And those are used by Greg in creating the LTS releases. So um, Linaro has been very involved in that as well. Have you been involved with Android since the beginning? Or a long time? No. no? Uh, I've been involved in Android for uh, almost four years. And uh, Android is so cool. It's, it's awesome. It's the best, right? Because it's also the platform that made Linux the most popular, right? I mean, it's the most popular Linux thing out there. Is it one of those, at least? And it's, so it's a big deal that you make things the right way. Um, it is certainly a, a very large Linux distribution. I don't want to overclaim, but uh, but definitely it's important to the Linux community. And it's important that you do security the right way. So, is it possible that I can ask how secure is Android? Is it like perfect, or there's some uh, issues, or what do you call not, it? Of course, it's not perfect like any large software project. Um, but we're working to make it better all the time. Because it's kind of the, the architecture of Android is siloed and there's a lot of things happening through the Play Store, security stuff, right? That it, it, it scans all your apps and you, you don't get mm -hmm. uh, malicious apps. That's right. important. So there's a lot of work being done a lo on a lot of fronts to make it secure. And, and it, it is quite secure. And uh, just also, it, 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 it's a huge work to make it work. So, so Google is making it easier for all the manufacturers and all the chip vendors. Always becomes easier and easier, or is? Um, I'm not sure that the, the vendors would agree with that, that we're making it easier and easier. But uh, we have good working relationship, and, and uh, I think it works pretty well. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you.